Dr. Romano, do you ever stop working or ever take a break? I never take a break. Come over here and let's do a pH calculation. Oh, great, Dr. Romano. Now, I was just working on a little general chemistry anyway. What we want to do in this problem is to do a problem that's a little more difficult than the average question that I think you'll encounter. But if you can do this, you're in great shape. The Kb of ammonia is 1.8 to the minus 5. And I want you to find the pH of a 0.400 molar solution. Now, the first thing you're going to do on approaching any of these questions on pH is to write the equation. Because they give you a Kb, it's a base. And as you know, a base is going to accept a proton. Now, we're all going to make a deal. In general chemistry, we always assume the solvent is water, unless otherwise noted. So I'm going to take the ammonia and I put it in water. Since the ammonia is a base, since we give you the Kb, it accepts an H. So the base becomes the conjugate acid, NH4+, and since this lost, becomes OH-. So the first thing we wrote the acid base reaction out. Ammonia plus water gives the ammonium ion plus the hydroxide ion. The next move is we write the Kb, which as you know is the products over the reactants, and don't use water. So the products is NH4 plus times OH minus divided by ammonia. Now we're going to drop some numbers in. The Kb we given is 1.8 to the minus 5. This is an equimolar amount. So I can call this x and this x. So that's why the numerator is x squared. Now at equilibrium, the concentration of ammonia is 0.400 minus x because we lost some of the ammonia, as you can see from the start. However, for the DAT exam, we're always going to make an assumption that this x is very small. So I can now say we have 1.8 to the minus 5 equals x squared over 0.400. To make things a little easier, I rounded off 1.8 to 2, and I'm going to rewrite 0.400 as 4 to the minus 1. I cross multiply, and that gives me 8 to the minus 6 equals x squared. The numbers will be a little nicer on the actual exam. Now, I'm going to square root this. Well, the square root of 9 is 3. So the square root of 8, we're a little under 3. So we'll call it 2.8. Square root of minus 6 is to the minus 3rd. So we now solve for x. That x is the amount of concentration of ammonium and OH minus. So because we got the OH minus, we're going to first find the POH. The POH is minus the log of the hydroxide ion concentration or minus the log of 2.8 to the minus 3. In the Destroyer book, I show you how to do logarithms. If this was 1 to the minus 3 and you took the negative log of it, it would be 3. But because this is not a 1, it's greater than a 1, that means the answer would be a little bit less than what you would think. So if it was 1 to the minus 3, and we minus the log of it, you get 3. But since this is not a 1, we're not that far away from 1. We're at 2.8, so you're going to come down a bit. It's around 2.6. Once we get the pOH is 2.6, we want the pH. Now, if you remember, the pH and the pOH equals 14. So if you subtract this from 14, 14 minus 2.6, we get 11.4. If you can do this problem, anything on the DAT would be a piece of cake. It'll be much, much easier. So if you're given a weak acid or a weak base and they have a Ka or a Kb, you're going to do a little bit of work. We have a lot of these questions in the destroyer, so I want you to make sure you look them over and you'll be good to go. Okay, Dr. Romano, I'm shooting for that 30. I love your study group. All right, I'm glad the study group is coming along very, very nicely. Um, I already know some of the kids, Pat Mugabe, Amelia Tron, Dave Davidov. These are the superstars of this group. Keep up the great work, guys. Bye-bye. Okay, Dr. Romano, I'm going to be a superstar next. Good day to you, sir.